Corey, please introduce yourself to the to the viewers. Yeah, um, I am. I'm a thinker. Uh, you know, I'm a passionate thinker. Um, you know, a lot of my background, I think, is still. I'm painting the picture in terms of why I do what I do and how I do what I do, and I think that's what we come to realize we are all on this journey that uh, we're learning and evolving and expressing ourselves. And we're at a point in technology and in our lives where we're able to collaborate with more people and kind of connect with different types of people from across the world. So, um, and I'm using this as kind of like an introduction to myself because a lot of, I think, I mean, Kanye is one person who doesn't like labels. So I don't really like labels that you're going to get to know me over the next you know, hour if you don't know me already. But a lot of my views and opinions um, have been from my experience. And so I feel like that is going to speak more than me just giving you a two minute you know, excerpt of who I am, because that part, you're not going to really understand who I am, but you'll understand a, a little bit about who I am as I start to express myself. Um, the energy that I come across, the things that I say, the pictures that I paint with the words and, and things like that. So um, that would be my introduction to myself. And, and like I said, over the next little bit, I think you'll start to understand me more or not. Right. You may you may say, hey, I don't get this guy. And, and that's that's cool, too. Um, yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, as an introduction to decoding Kanye and, and certain things that I think we're going to get into. I don't like labels. Um, it's something that I, I think is boxed people in. And, and if you put this label on, I'm this, then if something new comes about, you don't think that you can express it because you have limited yourself to just being this. Yeah. 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 yeah that's a good, that's a good point. And that's, that's like the paradox, right? Of, of, uh, of, yeah, existence, because I remember I, because I, my background is in law and I studied international law. And I recall we talked, so in one of the lessons, it was about European law. We talked about, so uh, the United States, the European Union, the African Union. And there's, there are always countries then that want to form part of, let's say, the union and others that don't. And it's like a paradox because you can only know, so you need, to a certain extent, you need a label, you need a label or you need labels to say what you are. And by saying that, you say what you're not. For example, you said you're a thinker. Mm -hmm. I, would add, I would add the word free to that because mm -hmm. I believe you're a free thinker. Mm -hmm. um, but by saying you're a thinker, it automatically says that you do not associate with people who do not think or at least for themselves. And that's like the, the paradox, but I understand completely what you said. Uh, uh, and I believe as humans, sometimes society might, we might, you, you get it a lot at uh, networking events. People want to know what you do. Like, what do you do? What can you, what, what added value can you provide me? But they never ask you who you are. Right. And it's like when you when you talk to the person, when you connect with, with a person without necessarily trying to put that person in a box, you are you remain open to accept the person for who he is and actually listen, you know. And that I think you'll get more value out of. Um, yeah. So when I put that box on you and I say, what do you do? That's a very small part of who you are. And I'm only going to be able to tap into that part. But if I exactly. start to understand a little bit more about who you are, there's so much more depth to that world that I can, and for selfish reasons, I can use, not abuse, but I can use, or for reasons where I want to help you become more of who you are. So um, a lot of it, you know, as we network and, you know, kind of engage with one another, it's like when it comes to networking and you want to know about someone, like what they do, it's because you want them, you want to see how they can help you or how you can help them, which is a good thing, right? It's noble in that yeah. own pursuit, but you can't just limit it in that one facet of what do you do and how can I help what you do? It's exactly. who, who are you and how can, how are our views aligned or misaligned or 
whatever, but there's so much more there. So that's a, that's a good point. Yeah. I think, I think Kurt Schoon, you guys might have heard of him before, but uh, he once said, uh, someone asked him uh, when he, uh, he was at the event, what do you do? And he said, I do whatever I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Great answer. I think we're all in the pursuit of that. If we don't have yeah. that already, we are all in pursuit to yeah. do exactly what we want to do. 